Bienvenidos, me llamo Carla, soy de El Salvador. Um, yo um, vine aquí cuando era una bebé bien pequeña con mi mami que era soltera. Um, cuando tuve 15 años uh, me hice residente. Um, en el 2014 me hice ciudadanía. Uh, yo fui al colegio aquí cerca de Dallas, en um, Denton, a la Universidad de Mujeres de Texas. Allí yo pude um, ir a la escuela, pero a la misma vez vivir con mi mami para ayudarles um, en casa y ayudarles con mis um, hermanos y hermanas. Um, después del colegio, yo fui, um, hice dos años en el colegio de la Universidad de Texas en Dallas. Um, cuando estaba allí, me di cuenta que no era lo que yo quería hacer. Uh, no era lo, lo que quería estudiar. So de allí yo me fui y empecé a trabajar a la Universidad de Texas Southwestern Medical Center. Allí uh, aprendí a hacer muchas cosas um, que cambié de mente y uh, decidí ir otra vez al colegio para agarrar mi, mi doctor uh, o PhD. Um, allí yo trabajo Um, en Departamento de Molecular Biophysics. Um, yo estoy tratando de estudiar um, um, moléculas que son bien pequeños y que um, trabajan o que, que estén en el cerebro y causa um, enfermedades. Um, a mí me gusta jugar tenis. Yo tengo un perro y un gato um, que cuido um, y Todavía, uh, aunque estoy uh, viviendo yo sola y haciendo mi vida en el colegio, yo todavía um, les ayudo a mi familia porque viven cerca y los visito uh, una vez a la semana. Gracias. Hi, uh, my name is Natalie Ortiz Spear, and I am originally from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I am the daughter of Latino immigrants. My mom is from Costa Rica and my dad is from Ecuador, so I'm proud to be half and half. Um, I've uh, always loved science, as you can see here, as I was a baby pouring color liquids. Um, and ever since then, um, I've always maintained that interest in science, and that uh, led to me going to UC San Diego for my undergrad degree. And there uh, I had a chance to work in a lab uh, for the first time ever. And it was really cool because we uh, basically studied these bacteria that um, can do photosynthesis and those uh, bacteria can potentially be used uh, for uh, biofuels. And so here I have a fun picture of uh, the bacteria cultures and you can see how uh, green they are. Um, and then, um, At the time, uh, my boyfriend had moved out to Dallas, Texas. So uh, when I graduated in 2013 with my degree in uh, microbiology, I uh, moved out uh, to be with him. And then I basically worked in different uh, research settings. So I worked in a, a food safety testing lab. So there was really cool because I got to test everything from cat food uh, to uh, Lay's chips to soup. And so we just checked to make sure that those food uh, were safe to consume. And um, moving on from there, I was able to work in the food industry uh, as a research and development analyst for Daisy brand sour cream, um, which I think most people have tried at least once in their life. And uh, that job was awesome because Not only did I get free sour cream and cottage cheese, but um, I was able to basically uh, work with the different bacteria and tweak it to make our sour cream taste better. Um, I uh, love that job, uh, but I kind of felt like I needed, um, you know, to uh, move my career forward. And I just wanted to get back into working in university associated uh, research. So from there, I got a job here at uh, UT Southwestern, uh, working in the Goodman Lab in the pharmacology department. And so there, I really got introduced to the field of cell biology, which is uh, what I'm basically studying today. And there, I was looking at 
uh, different kinds of uh, proteins that help uh, cells store fat. And there uh, I worked with uh, yeast, which is the same kind of organism that uh, you use to make bread or other baked goods. Um, and the cool thing is that those uh, little organisms can also store fat very similarly to how humans can. Um, and the following year in 2017, I uh, started graduate school at UT Southwestern as well. Um, ironically, I still study fat in uh, the Henny lab in the cell biology department. Um, and uh, the fun thing is that uh, fat is stored in these cool round spherical organelles called lipid droplets. So I spend most of my day looking at lipid droplets, um, which is my go-to activity. Uh, and then just some fun facts. Um, I got married in 2018 to my husband, who was the boyfriend that I moved to Texas for. And uh, we have a 10-year-old corgi mix uh, named Leia. So you can see her here on the right. Um, I love her. She's my baby. <laughs> and I love listening to podcasts, um, pretty much anything under the sun, uh, comedy, true crime, all that stuff. Um, my favorite holiday is Halloween. Um, I love dressing up. And uh, tied into that, I love horror movies. So this is my time of year. Hi, my name is Priscilla and I'm gonna take the opportunity to present this in Spanish. Um, yo nací en El Paso, Texas, en la frontera con Ciudad Juárez y México, este, pero nos mudamos a los Estados Unidos, regresé para empezar la universidad en El Paso. Entré primero a Community College, este, era más barato, la, las clases eran mucho más baratas ahí y después de estar dos años ahí me transferí a la Universidad de Texas en El Paso. Lo que fue muy importante durante mi carrera son las becas que te ofrecían para hacer, para enfocarte en ciencia. Entonces, durante mi estancia en el Community College, en la Universidad de Texas en El Paso, me pagaron todas la, las clases, me pagaron por dedicarme a la ciencia, que es algo que yo no sabía anteriormente. Entonces, durante el proceso de estar en la universidad, Trabajé en diferentes veranos, en diferentes universidades, como en UT Southwestern, vine en 2017. Después, este, cuando terminé mi carrera en microbiología, es, me fui al Instituto Nacional de Salud en Washington, D.C., que también te pagan un sueldo mensual para trabajar ahí, y me enfoqué más que nada en trabajar con parásitos. Este, ahorita entré a la, bueno, en 2019 entré al programa de doctorado aquí en UT Southwestern, en el que me dedico a estudiar muchas cosas de inmunología, microbiología, pero estoy en el programa de biología molecular. El programa más que nada nos toma cinco años, pero ahorita me estoy enfocando en estudiar la bacteria que tenemos en el estómago. Y también este programa es todo pagado te pagan sueldo mensual, te pagan aseguranza y pues más que nada eso es algo que a mí me ha gustado mucho durante todo este proceso. Parte de, de lo que hago fuera de la ciencia, me gustan mucho las plantas, tengo un husky, es, es mi bebé, este, me encanta visitar a mi familia en El Paso porque ahí es donde viven y la mayoría de ellos hablan español, así que el inglés es nuestro segundo lenguaje. Yo lo aprendí cuando tenía 20, 20 años. Entonces aún me, se me dificulta un poco cuando hablo en frente de la gente. Pero pues este, todos tenemos, casi todos o los que somos parte de la diversidad aquí en la escuela, tenemos, hablamos dos lenguajes y pues todos nos entendemos. Así que si tú también hablas dos lenguajes, eres bienvenido en el área de la ciencia. Hi, my name is Rose Pedretti. Kind of like, I tell people kind of like spaghetti, but not really. So, you know, people call me Rose Spaghetti too. Um, I am a, 
a second year PhD student at UT Southwestern in the cell and molecular biology department. Um, I was born in New Jersey, but I think I moved to New York when I was six years old. And I've been there pretty much my entire life up until when I started my PhD. Um, so I went to a small school in uh, Rochester, which is right near Canada uh, for my undergraduate work. Um, and I just graduated in 2020 with my bachelor's in biochemistry. Um, I also played for the varsity basketball team alongside research, so I think that's kind of cool. Um, a lot of the work I did in undergraduate uh, consisted of studying how proteins assemble and fold into uh, their structure so that they can do the things that they need to do to keep us healthy. Um, and I also did an internship at Brookhaven, Brookhaven National Lab. Um, where I studied amyloid beta, which is one of the proteins involved in Alzheimer's disease. So that was really cool. Um, after I graduated with my bachelor's, I started to graduate school during the pandemic, which has been fun to say the least. Um, so I started school last year. And like I said before, I'm in the cell molecular biology department and I specifically work in the Center for Alzheimer's and Neurodegenerative Disease. Um, so we work on proteins implicated in Alzheimer's and other neurodegenerative disease. Um, and then the top left is probably where I spend most of my days, or at least um, where I enjoy spending most of my days is the transmission electron microscope. So it's super high resolution. Um, and it's really cool because you can look at very small things um, and they're just so clear, things that you can't even see with the naked eye. Um, and the bottom left, that's my family. I have uh, a 14 year old brother and a five year old sister. Um, so going back home during Christmas time is always fun um, because you know, they have so much more youth and energy than I do being a, a graduate student. Um, and for fun, I still like to play basketball from time to time because I played a lot in college um, and other sports too. I also like to go to the gym and um, eat food. Uh, I think something that I really enjoy about Dallas and Texas in general is compared to New York, there's like so much more food, different cuisines to try. Um, and so, yeah, that's that's what I like to do in my free time besides, you know, eating and baking for other people. Hello, everyone. I'm Among. I was born and brought up in India. And science has always been intriguing to me, especially how the stars, especially how space and star works. I found my love for biology in high school. And when I went for my undergrad, I fell in absolute love with research. I worked on trying to find the active components in tea and other herbs. I went on to teach and research for a while, which was followed by getting a master's at Texas A&M, where I studied the properties of bacteria. I ended up here at UT Southwestern doing my PhD in biophysics. And I try to understand how certain clinic, how certain drugs work on the human body. My family back home consists of my parents, my brother and my sister-in-law. And I have a second family over here of my friends. I like to cook and go meet my friends who live far, far away. I don't know why they do that, but yeah, that is me. Uh, wonderful, now that I'm unmuted. Um, hi, I'm Harshida. I am like Umang. I'm also born and brought up in India. Uh, I lived there for the first 18 years of my life. I then moved to the U.S. for college uh, for my undergraduate at Denison University in the center, in the center of Ohio. Um, fun fact, and I did not actually realize this, but earlier this year in August, I completed 10 years of living in the U.S. So it's kind of unbelievable that that much time has passed since I left um, India to come here. Um, 
I've always known that I wanted to go into science and this is partly because of my family. My mother is a doctor, my dad is a mechanical engineer. So I was always sort of predisposed to the sciences. Um, and then I realized that I wanted to study the brain, which is why I did my undergrad in biology and neuroscience. Um, following that, I knew I wanted to do a PhD, um, but I knew I wanted to get more research experience. And so I uh, took a job as a lab technician and a lab manager in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, um, in a neuroscience lab. Uh, and I spent three years there, during which time I rented my first apartment. I got to live alone for the first time uh, and learned how to drive, um, specifically drive on ice because this is Wisconsin. Um, and after three years of that and um, one or two papers actually coming out of that lab, I finally decided to get my PhD and ended up here at UT Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. Uh, so very different from Ohio and Wisconsin in that it's much, much warmer, um, but similar to India. So that's nice. Um, I started here in 2018 and I'm now entering my fourth year. I'm in the lab of Dr. Chad Roberts, where we study songbirds. Specifically, we study how the brains of songbirds contribute to their um, actual production of their song. Um, and as a fun fact, I, I have always loved animals. I love cats and dogs. And finally, earlier this year, I went and adopted my first cat, Oscar, who you can see on the screen right now. Um, he is the best. He follows me everywhere I go um, and does not leave me alone even for a second, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, I also like to read, drink coffee, and um, cook whenever I have the time. And that's it. What's up, guys? Uh, my name is Jaime Coronado, but I don't like my first name, uh, so I go by Jay. It's a lot easier for everybody. Um, I actually got into science uh, late in the game. Um, I graduated from a small, small town um, about an hour south of San Antonio, Texas. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I knew I wanted to go to college, but I didn't know um, what exactly I wanted to study. So um, I went to ACC, Austin Community College, um, for five years. Wow. And I, uh, I actually had a professor there who uh, was contagious when he taught science. And um, I had a few professors there that really, really instilled some really great lessons in me. And so um, I ended up transferring to Texas State University where I um, met uh, Dr. Wojtek. There's a picture of her, you know, myself and her there after I graduated. She was a, she's a great mentor. Um, I still keep in contact with her. She was the one who actually uh, pushed, like really pushed me to do grad school. And I was like, why? I'm 26. I don't want to, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> I don't want to do school anymore. Uh, but I'm glad she did because um, she actually helped me. She actually let me volunteer in her lab, you know, just kind of be, uh, set up some, you know, little reagents, uh, make plates, clean some stuff, cell culture. She taught me that. Um, and I was excited and I fell in love with it. Um, and so after I graduated, I had to, uh, I found a job that worked in Austin for a year in a lab. And then I, that's when I knew, I was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll do the grad, I, I gotta go to grad school. Like there's, you know, there's more out there. So I ended up uh, attending uh, UT Health San Antonio for uh, two years. I worked under um, a PI by the name of Dr. Yan Zhang. Um, he studied uh, pox virus, specifically vaccinia virus, and my project was to um, figure out um, if uh, nucleic acid was, um, if it triggered um, a protein's antiviral response. So that was great. That was cool. It was uh, my first like real, you know, lesson in, in actual research, how to plan, um, you know, how to, how to analyze data. And so um, at that point, it was, just, it was a great experience. I, I was like, why not, um, you know, pursue that PhD? And that's what brought me here to Dallas. And um, I'm currently in um, immunology department um, and Dr. Tiffany Reese's lab where we study co-infection. Um, my project specifically is uh, fetal immune development. You know, uh, pregnant women, um, we obviously know, you know, they shouldn't, you know, drink or smoke or do other certain things um, that can... Um, affect the, uh, the development of the fetus. Um, but in, in our case, so what I'm trying to study is the co-infection. If, if a pregnant, um, you know, if, if a pregnant female gets 
infected with a parasitic infection and then there's a, a second infection, how does that um, play a part in, the, in developing the immune system for the, the fetus? So um, it's been a heck of a ride. I'm, a, you know, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, going into my second year. Um, I'm learning a lot. Uh, things are picking up. Um, I didn't put it on the slide, but I'll tell you guys anyway, I'm a sports fanatic, uh, basketball and football. I, um, I also like to work out uh, when I have the time. And um, yeah, I am super old. So yeah, I'm 30 years old <laughs> doing this thing and hopefully um, I, I'll reach the end and there'll be uh, more doors to open um, in the future. But yeah, that's who I am, Jay Coronado. Glad to be here. Hi guys, I'm Dahi and I was originally born and raised in South Korea. So that means that English is not my first language. And during my fun time, I love to cook and bake, which is actually kind of like science if you've ever cooked and baked, because you mix things and put it, put it in an oven and see what happened. And it's kind of like a, that's why I got into science. So I first came to United States to do my undergraduate studies at Brighton University in, in Rhode Island. And that's where I had my first research experience where I was doing work on the lab bench with the lab coat on, like the typical scientist things that you, you would see in the movies. And I liked how I was able to, able to do experiments and find out a new knowledge about science that I've only been that I've only been taught in high school. So then I then decided that I like to continue to be, to work as a scientist. So I came to Dallas to get my PhD at University of Texas Southwestern Medical Center. And so I started at UT Southwestern in 2017, and that was my first time in Texas. And I really liked the, liked the weather, food, and the Texas in general. And in my school, I study microbiology and that refers to studying small guys in the biology, such as bacteria and viruses. And yes, that would include like coronaviruses and, and influenza. And I get, at my work, I get to work with this cool like advanced microscope that helped me see the little guys. My name is Gianna Majori. Um, I grew up in Los Alamos, New Mexico, and I moved to Dallas uh, to attend the University of Texas at Dallas for my undergraduate work. I studied neuroscience because I was very interested in the brain and learning kind of about how we think. And that kind of got me interested in medicine as well. And when I graduated in May of 2019, I started school at the University of Texas Southwestern, so where I'm at now. Um, and I'm in a program where I'm earning both my MD and my PhD. So, so far I've completed two years of medical school and I've taken the first licensing exam to become a medical doctor. And now I'm working in a cancer lab um, for my PhD and I'm trying to prevent mice from developing liver cancer. <laughs> um, for fun, I have two dogs that are a lot of energy and a lot of work. Um, but I love them. And I have two younger brothers and four older stepsisters. And then I really like to hike and spend time outside. So my pictures, um, one is at my white coat ceremony uh, where I learned my white coat in medical school. One is of me working with cells. And so these are the same kind of cells that we'll look at under the microscope in um, a cell culture hood in lab. And then the last is me um, hiking this summer to a really cool waterfall. All right, uh, so hi, my name is Lauren. I was born in Houston, Texas, and I am a postdoc at UT Southwestern right now. So my interest in science started with video games. As you can see, I have always loved computers and biology. Um, so up there, I've actually included a picture of my computer that I love. 
I first went to college at Baylor uh, in Waco and I had very little research experience, but I knew that I wanted to be a scientist. So then I went and did my PhD at SMU in Dallas. And I focused on a variety of topics, um, but they're all connected by these things called membrane transporters, which are proteins that move stuff for tr transport things around in your cell. Um, I always love doing both computer work and cell biology. So now in my postdoc, I am continuing that tradition and I'm studying microtubules in the rice lab in the biophysics department. Um, so for my pictures, I have a lot of pictures of my cats, which bring me a lot of joy. Um, the picture of me in the microscope is me working during my PhD work, uh, doing some cancer focused drug discovery. I also really like to knit. So uh, in the middle is a sweater that I knit of our dog Finnegan. Um, and yeah, and then I am supported by my family and my fiance who I love dearly. And that's all about me, thanks. Hi, my name is Nestor Ruiz and I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. Although all my family, including my seven brothers and sisters, are all from Mexico. And so they all immigrated here, and I was the only one in my family born here. I was also the first person in my family to go to college. So I went to the University of Texas at Austin, where I got my BS in microbiology and infectious disease. And throughout my four years there, I was part of this program called FRI, Freshman Research Initiative Program, which puts you as a freshman into an undergraduate research lab. So you, uh, and that's where I got exposed to uh, being, working in the research field. And so after uh, graduating, I took a lab tech position at UT Southwestern where I'm currently at. However, I went from studying um, fungi in undergrad to studying the development of germ cells as a lab tech. Uh, after my year of working as a tech, I learned that uh, germ stem cells was not the field for me and that I actually really liked microbiology. So I decided as a graduate student to join the molecular and microbiology program here at UT Southwestern. And I'm currently studying uh, host, host pathogen interactions. So my research is uh, focused on understanding how uh, bacteria uh, affect their host and vice versa. So understanding why in some hosts bacteria can be good bacteria and then in other hosts it can be pathogenic and lead to disease. But when I'm not doing that, what I really like doing for fun is actually cooking and baking. So I really like uh, cooking for friends and family and when I'm really stressed out I tend to bake a lot. So there's always uh, cookies and pies and cheesecake at my place, depending on how stressed I am. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Wesley Burford, and I am currently a microbiology PhD science graduate student at UT Southwestern Medical School. Uh, but as you can see from my side, that's not where it all started. Uh, I was born in 1984, and right there is my first day of sixth grade. Uh, so we all would, I, my pictures are a little more, uh, more older than many, but, uh, but that's okay. So we all uh, started somewhere. And I went to, grew up through a natural process of growing and went to San Francisco State for my bachelor's degree. Um, and there I studied uh, some, these gill fish down there, these, these fish right there on their gills uh, have uh, these parasites. And uh, we counted the fish parasites and the gills and we hoped helped this local salmon fish farmer uh, decide where he should uh, 
put his fish and at the right time. And so it was super exciting. I got really excited. I realized that you can make science help people in their day-to-day -day lives. And so that got me very excited uh, about what I was doing. And so I moved to San Diego State University where I studied viruses. I got a master's degree there got some research experience and I learned about the human immunodeficiency sim syndrome and I did a lot of research there because I was super excited and busy helping some of my fellow uh, uh, college students learn about different viruses and so, so I decided to study them. And then after that I moved to UC Southwestern. I went from California to uh, lovely Texas, uh, which has been super enjoyable, so much so that I stayed. I was a research assistant and studied cancer for about two years. And so you can see some of my data there, some cool pictures. I really do a lot of microscopy. Uh, and that carried on to my current research as a PhD student, where I study bacterial infection. So basically uh, how bacteria infect cells. Uh, you can see clearly I uh, uh, standing behind a lot of science stuff, but also we have a lot of fun. That's my group there. And we uh, we're for a lab Olympics. So I got to design t-shirts. So you can do a science and you can design t-shirts at the same time. Uh, as you can see there, uh, some pictures of cells that I took. These are my images. I'm super excited about them. We can see different infections from different bacteria and how they infect cells and how they operate with cells. And so, I mean, I, I do a lot of science, but I also really enjoy thinking about how science relates to people in their everyday lives. There's sort of nothing that you do that isn't science related. Uh, so I've always enjoyed studying human disease, uh, but of course I don't do that all the time. I've done it for a long time, but, uh, I do rowing when I can in boats, uh, kayak, I love kayaking, I love canoeing. I also love, as you can see from the pictures, uh, some competitive rowing when I get the chance. I read a lot of books. I think it's super fun. I also do read some on the Kindles and the TikToks and the, or I guess there's no reading on TikToks. That shows you why my first day of sixth grade is such an old picture. Um, when I was in middle, middle school, uh, so I was about your age, I was collecting comic cards and basketball cards. Uh, and so lots of, lots of excitement there. And I think so, you know, I'm excited about science. I do what I can. And, uh, and I hope you're all excited. It'll be a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you. Great. Hi, uh, my name is Duol, and uh, I grew up in China, and uh, I moved to uh, the States uh, after uh, high school. So, uh, and I went to University of Houston for my undergrad, and uh, uh, shown the uh, left corner picture. And uh, after college, I went to UD uh, MD Anderson Cancer Center, um, as a research assistant for three and a half years. Uh, I did some research on radiobiology. And after that, I applied to uh, grad school pursuing my PhD degree. And uh, I'm currently a second year PhD student at UT Southwestern. Um, so the right corner picture is me with a um, a fluorescent microscope that I'm working from time to time um, that you can uh, labeling cells with uh, fluorophores. So you can see some pretty, uh, pretty pictures of uh, the cells. And uh, I have two labs. Uh, I'm currently working in uh, both uh, auto lab and uh, Reddy Krishna's lab. Um, it is uh, fun to work with uh, both group of people and uh, um, uh, when I'm not working in the lab, I enjoy traveling, hiking, and reading. And there's also a picture of me uh, on the glacier that I went to. Uh, it's uh, I went to Alaska this summer, so it's uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you all.
Hello, um, my name is Mitzi Cowden and um, I am currently a fourth year PhD student at UT Southwestern Medical Center. I was actually born in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, um, which as you can see from that picture that I put on there, it's about 24 hours away driving. Um, and when I was three years old, my family um, decided to bring us over here just for more opportunities. Um, and we landed in Fort Worth, Texas. Um, and I have been living in Texas ever since. I haven't really moved around too, too much. Um, I was under DACA for a good bit there. Um, and after I received DACA, I decided to go to community college in Fort Worth, um, where I went to Tarrant County Community College and earned an Associate of Arts degree. And then I was able to go and transfer to Texas A&M University, where I earned a Bachelor of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Um, and once I got to UT Southwestern, um, I, well, while I was at uh, a and I decided that I really wanted to do a PhD. I was already the first person in my family to go to college. Um, so, and I decided that I really liked science while I was there. As you can see, I was uh, an undergrad research associate um, and I worked in two different labs while I was at a and one on a &M's campus, and then I also got the opportunity to go to Houston for a summer, um, and that's the picture that I have there. And um, then I decided to pursue science further um, and try to get a PhD, so I'm actually in my fourth year of the PhD program at UT Southwestern. Um, and in that time, I've actually earned my permanent residency and I'm currently applying for citizenship. Um, so it's actually been really great, and I hope to encourage other students, um, especially from Latino backgrounds, to pursue science. Um, and for fun, I really love to bake, and I like hiking, and um, we don't have a crazy amount to do here in Dallas, but there are a lot of really cool places to go in Texas, and I love to bake really fun cakes, and actually last weekend I made a cake that looked like pasta, which was really fun, so I think I'm going to try to get more into like cake decorating um, during these times. And much like Nestor, I also do it when I'm stressed. So um, yeah, so that's a little bit about me. Hi, uh, this is Molloy. I born and brought up in India and my main mother language is Bengali. In, uh, and also I speak in English. So I did my PhD from University of Calcutta. It is one of the oldest university in India. And after my PhD, I came to US uh, around 2014 and at University of South Dakota. And thereafter, I went to University of Leuven at Belgium for my second postdoc. And again, I came to US and joined Cleveland Clinic for my postdoc. And from there, I came here at UT Southwestern to continue my postdoc uh, in stem cell and Down syndrome. For fun, I usually uh, used to do some cooking and also some gardening. It is my passions. And another passion is the traveling. I travel a lot and different European country. And yes, uh, in India, I have my small family. That's it. Hey guys, I'm Chandler. I was originally born in Dallas and raised in Plano, went to Plano West. Um, I spent a lot of my time in school actually planning to be a writer. I wrote a lot of different short stories and even a couple full length novel type things. Ne uh, never ended up getting published, but um, that was my passion for a long time until my grandmother uh, sent me an information for a session on neuroscience. It was just a talk that UTD was hosting and I went and I absolutely fell in love with neuroscience. And then I took that, that passion for neuroscience uh, to Brown University in Rhode Island. Um, and there I worked in a lab that studied autism. And that's when I learned that I love working with cellular models and doing all sorts of cool stuff with test tubes and biology and microscopes and all the kind of cool stuff that you guys can do. I graduated in 2017 and I went straight into uh, into school at UT Southwestern to get both my MD and my PhD. So uh, uh, what my parents like to call my doctor doctor degree. 
so far, I've done two years of med school. Uh, there's me and um, in the top, uh, top right, there's me and a couple other med student friends and actually another MD PhD friend um, at Parkland Hospital where we worked for a while. Um, and I've got two years of graduate school down, so I'm a third year graduate student. Uh, I currently work in a lab that studies the biology of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease um, and something else called frontotemporal dementia. So a pretty long sounding disease, but it's just another, another form of dementia. And uh, I love rock climbing up in the top left. You can see that uh, cooking. This was when I made my um, uh, this is when I made my family uh, Thanksgiving uh, feast last uh, in 2020. And then, of course, my dog Maya, um, who's always seems to be a little, little, she always looks like an old man, but I promise she's a puppy at heart. Um, and I also have a third degree black belt that I got when, uh, when I was um, in high school. So, uh, yeah, and I plan on being a neurologist and studying the brain. Um, I love the brain just because, you know, you can replace somebody's heart, uh, you can replace their lungs, you can replace their liver, and uh, they're still the same person. But if you, if you replace the brain, you're a completely different person. So I like to think that the brain is who we are, and I want to help make sure that uh, who we are stays nice and healthy. Thanks.